guys? So, uh, Ultimate 107 here. Uh, I just wanted to apologize. For first of all, I want to apologize for the uh, huge lapse between my last video and my most recent other videos, and um, just say that I've got school and all that other junk to worry about right now. So. It's just, it's been kind of hectic lately, and I haven't really had a chance to cut together a video, so. I'm back. That's all that matters. Let's get to it, alright? Um, the artist for this, uh, this next review is Cascade, and the, uh, name of the album is, uh, Fire and Ice. Now, this album, it's amazing. Um, but we'll get to that in just a minute. Um, first of all, I want to say, Cascade, one of the best DJ slash producers of the genre of dance, electronic, stuff like that, of all time, hands down. He is like a pioneer of electronic dance music, and it's just... It's amazing what he does. Um, he's he's 41. I mean, that's that's old by most people's standards today, anyway. But the way he does stuff is just amazing. Um, he started back in 2001, and he's done a bunch of different collaborations, mixes. He's toured with everyone. He's mixed with everyone. He's he's just one of the most well-known guys in the. Um, in the DJing world, uh, everything about him is just, he's, he's awesome, um, he's, he's one of the pioneers, he's right up there with Daft Punk for me, um, he's not, he's one little iota short of Daft Punk, in my opinion, but, um, yeah, so, let's get to, uh, let's get to what, uh, let's get to what we're here for, shall we? Uh, and that is the review of Fire and Ice. Um, now this, this CD is a little older. Um, it was made in 2011. Um, I'm not really sure the exact date of when it, um, when it came out, but it's 2011. Um, I think it, it might have said August, but, um, you can go to iTunes, check it out. Um, it's nine. It's nine ninety nine on iTunes, and to buy the actual CD, it's like twelve bucks on uh, on Amazon. I checked that out for you guys. All right, so I'm doing them a little different now. I'm um, I split them up into different groups, um, and I'm gonna go through each category and uh, see see what we got. So first things first things first, the melodies in this the first category I've got for you is melody. Um, now this guy can throw a melody together like nothing and have it flow, ebb and flow just amazingly. Um, the ten the ten original tracks are amazing. There's no rep, there's no blatantly like awful repetition of harsh notes. It's just it's an even flowing melody. Um, the next one is rhythm. Now of course, now this one. It's not like the super, super intense, like, crazy fast, I want to jump at like 180 beats per minute. Like, he's, it's good, chill house music, or dance or electronic music, and it's just, it's amazing. The way he does it, it just, it, you feel it, you get into it really, really good, and, um, yeah. So, next, the next uh, section that I dreamed up was uh, repetition, um, and Cascade is a perfect example of how to do repetition right. He does it just enough to, um, to drive the points of his music home. I mean, like, there's going to be repetition in any, in any song or any music. I mean, there's just, the main, the main theme of the song has to come back. So it resonates with you as a listener. So it's just 
he does it amazingly. He he's very minimalist with it. He doesn't just go boom 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 for the entire song. It's not that. He's got actual melodies that he plays instead of just the annoyingly repetitious kind. Um, now duration. The actual CD itself. Um, the actual like unfiltered original tracks are 10 there's 10 tracks but he was gracious enough to give 10 remixes now these remixes are like high caliber amazing remixes like don't don't dog on him at all for doing that i mean i'd rather like zed his his was just his 10 original tracks and that's fine but the way cascade did it with um with adding 10 remixes to it is just amazing. I love them for it. I mean, all pretty much all of them are, like, easy listening. Um, but, I mean, they are remixes, so they're not going to be for everybody. Um, yeah. Uh, the key tracks, in my opinion, are Lessons in Love with the Neon Trees, of course. Um, of course, I'm not a big Neon Trees fan, but I can throw up a review of one of their albums just to drive that point home um waste love with quadrant i love the old old timey style that's got like like the snatch kind of music to it i mean it's it's just awesome um and then the room for happiness which is an amazing song too also some of his lyrics i mean any listener is gonna get in more into a song if they can relate to the uh, subject at hand, and like he just he deals with lots of relatable topics, like heartbreak and loneliness and emptiness. I mean, if you can resonate with that, then it makes that much it makes it that much more fulfilling as a listener, and it just mixed with the amazing melodies that he's got it's just it's an amazing album um that mixed with the remixes um if i had to give this one a rating 10 out of 10 just 10 out of 10 it's an amazing album um i know it's a little old um but if you guys want to keep want me to keep doing new ones just let me know in the comments um if you want me to do some old ones, just let me know in the comments as well. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm going to keep reviewing the ones that I want to review until I get some requests of some kind. So uh, comments, questions, feel free to ask. Uh, like and subscribe if you could, that'd be great. Um, and also stay tuned for some video game reviews, including the one behind me, uh, as well as Black Ops 2 and um, PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale. I'm going to be doing a lot more stuff, a lot more unboxings hopefully in the near future of um of some tech so stay tuned for that and i'll talk to you guys later all right peace out